you're in my clutches, fallen prey, it would seem to my maniacal mind and diabolical scheme. Shall I fry you in magma or impale you with spikes? All my things, take your rings, I've got things you won't like. Like a big laser that's powered by crystals, a tool that burns with the heat of the sun. And if I aim at your toes, I'll likely burn off your nose, and everyone knows that using lasers is fun. Dr. Eggman, I'm not certain, but you may not be aware that your laser self-destruction functions button is right there. I don't follow. Shouldn't it be harder to get to? But then I can't reach it! Look, you're all missing the point. Which is? I don't need to use my laser, cause I have a giant bomb, which will cover this whole planet in a toxic green napalm. And this bomb's up with a timer. Why not set it off right now? Well, I... I don't know how. Seriously? Every bomb you've ever crafted has a flimsy metal plate, and inside it are the wires meant to help recalibrate. Well, I guess that's true they often do, but what's this all about? Don't you think those crucial wires could be easily torn out? No. That plate requires a hex wrench to take off. Or a fist. But toxic bombs are nothing compared to my true master plan. Do tell. I can climb inside a robot, one whose footsteps shake the ground. And which has no major defects. And or weak points to be found. It shoots missiles from its fingers and its arm becomes an axe. And it follows simple patterns for its movements and attacks. Fine, my evil plans and wicked schemes may seem a bit underwhelming, but the greatest weapon that I have, this death aid that I'm having. This thing's a piece of junk. Hey! And it also smells like an evil armpit. See? The jungle badger finds it intimidating. Oh, I forgot to mention, I deactivated your weapon systems earlier. Huh? I also found a copy of your death egg schematics and uploaded them to Spindrist. You what? Yeah, your Wi-Fi is completely unprotected. Oh, hey, three respins. No way, I can't believe this. Yeah, also, this thing's about 20,000 miles overdue for an oil change. Never trust auto mechanics. Well, I didn't want to do this, but you finally forced my hand. Now I'll show you all the evilest thing that I have ever planned. It took countless days and endless nights, but I thought it ironic that the panic who would end you all would be named... Wait for it... Metal Sonic! What did you do with my robot? I don't know. What does he look like? Blue. Metal. Your height. Oh, and dashingly attractive? Yeah, I bumped into him. And where is he now? Well, part of him went out the window, and the other part got caught in a trash compactor. No, no, no! Why's this always happen every time in every game? When I think I've beaten Sonic, he defeats me all the same. And no matter what my tactic, not a plan or strategy, Will ever yield a single triumph or one victory? Tough luck, Egg Noodle. Maybe if you let us out, Tails can fix your engine. I can do that from in here, actually. Shh! I suppose I have no choice but to set you free. Then again... Could it be the situation is a lucky twist of fate? Sonic's trapped inside a cell from which he can't evacuate. And it's true my death thing's falling, but my egg pod's parked nearby. I can make it do it safely and leave Sonic here to die. Then I'll watch from out the window as my death egg hits the ground. And I'll cut my ear and then I'll hear the sweetest of all sounds. It's the sound of my redemption in the form of Sonic's doom. For I'm finally killing Sonic in a fiery Sonic boom.